Hey friends, welcome again to our channel Bollywood Tidbits. I am Yash Karani and right now I am with a very lovely, beautiful actress named Saida. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. So, do you want to say a quick hi or how are you in your Russian language, please? Um, <laughs> I prefer in English, I guess, because that's the language I speaking in for like past 20 years. <laughs> yeah, but uh, in Russian uh, it would be something like this. Всем привет. Меня зовут Сейда Джулс. Всем привет. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's all I could do. I'm sorry. It's pretty tough. You you need to to yeah. practice. Yeah. It needs practice. So the the first first thing obviously I would like to ask you uh how do you look so beautiful? Uh thank you so much for the compliment. Uh I think the main secret for beauty is a healthy lifestyle in terms of everything. Uh I don't drink, I don't smoke, I'm vegetarian and I do yoga. Okay. I'm happy of course. All right. So do you inspire like your your fans, people, your like viewers by posting some yoga stuff on Insta or YouTube channel? Uh you know unfortunately people somehow are not very interested <laughs> in a healthy life I believe but uh I would love to inspire someone to follow healthy lifestyle because I think I think that's what uh keeps you young and uh you know makes you beautiful and makes you more happier as well. Okay. So let's talk a bit about uh your film The Dead End. Mhm. Mm Just throw some light on it. Yeah, when our illusions become your reality. That's scary. Great. And then uh it's directed by Aditya Om. So how was your experience working with him? Uh yeah, you know, Aditya Om has a very interesting vision. and uh i worked with aditya om in a different movie as an actor and uh, then you know he narrated me one script which i liked and which really inspired me to produce this movie so we changed the script quite a lot and they put a lot of inputs in the script and we kind of wrote it together it was a very long uh, it was a very long process when we finally reached the stage we were happy with and uh It was nice working with him. I think uh, he got a really good opportunity in meeting someone like me who believes in their <laughs> script and uh raised the funds and produced the movie. Mm, I think maybe uh, Aditya could use it more to his advantage. <laughs> I think it would be uh, better for him. He he really had a good opportunities. But our uh, anyways whatever happens happens for the best and uh whatever we have now it's of course great experience and their entire journey you know and because we shot the movie in Himalayas and uh, you would never go to those locations unless it's a film you know and I'm very grateful to the film and to our director Aditya that he picked up locations because he was the one who was in charge of it and it was an incredible experience we worked two years on the film from their screenplay writing until the end it was uh, a very very special time it was uh, i did have as everyone and of course only the best wishes <laughs> to them okay we are glad we are glad you had a great time and be it acting in film or be it like producing a film uh we you know it's not at all easy but for you personally um in which of these like acting and or producing you get more fun you get more like work satisfaction uh yeah absolutely but to act in a film and produce it's a very very different uh, job i think it's a very different um characters of the person because to act in a film Mm, if you really love it I would I wouldn't say it's easy but in the same time I think whenever you do something you love it's not that uh, difficult either but producing a film the main point you really really have to believe in director and to be sure that he will do a really really great job and uh that's the thing you will never know unless you go through experience so that's the tricky part uh and of course the main thing is uh, the script because everything starts from the script and to be honest a lot of people in our movie are um, you know they really came on board because of the script and especially i'm really proud of the music and the soundtrack for the movie 
that was uh, composed by Jamie Salisbury. He is a award winner in London and UK and he agreed to do the film only because he really liked the script. Now, before <clears throat> I ask you the next question, I want to thank you and all the Russian people for the great Stanislavski system. You know, way back in yeah. 1900 or before that, came to New York and then it spread, spread it all across the States and then finally all, all across the world, you know. So, uh, my question is, uh, what's your acting uh, background in, I mean, in terms of training, professional training? Uh, oh yeah, in terms of films, I was trained <laughs> in all the you know, departments, I would say. Uh, you know, I, I left Russia very, very early, but even when I was in school, um, I went to the acting workshop Again, Stanislavski system, as you said. Which one? Sorry. Uh, the Stanislavski system, you know, in Russia, all the actors, like, and in Hollywood as well, they follow Stanislavski system. Mm -hmm. And that's what um, I did when I lived in Russia. And again, uh, I lived in India for quite a long time. And I went to Anupam Kher acting school. Oh, you went there? Yeah, I went there. Uh, to be honest, I think acting is something either you have it or not. It's not a knowledge, it's either you can lie on screen and pretend, or you can't. Uh, but still, of course, it was good, and also I did a small workshop of acting in London. Yeah, but what uh, really gave me a lot is London Film Academy. But in London Film Academy, I started screenplay writing and producing. So that I also write, I write screenplays. Uh, I didn't do it for the dead end. That was screen, all screenplays were written by Aditya Om. I, yeah, but uh, I studied a lot. And what's your uh, favorite uh, acting style? Mm, pardon? Favorite acting style? Like we got Meisner, we got Stanislavski. There are some styles here in India. Uh, no, I really like Stanislavski system because I think in Bollywood, a lot of actors, they, ju they don't really belief in the character and it's not about you know Stanislavski system it's just more about face expressions you know and let's say if if you are playing a character who's angry they would just shout but that's not like this because sometimes a person can be very quiet and you will just look at the person and you know he is furious. It's right? all in the eyes, right? Yeah, it's all about because everyone expressing it differently. So I think whenever you act, you have to really, really believe and not only believe, but to be that person for the time. And of course, uh, rehearsals as well, because all dialogues, you know, you have to rehearse. So I really wish that all actors out there would follow Stanislavski system. You said something about the time, time frame. Now, I read it somewhere that actors are lucky in a way, if they appreciate it, that in one life, they can live so many lives. What do you say about this? No, absolutely. In fact, uh, that's, you know, you just <laughs> took thoughts from uh, my mind. Absolutely. And that was the reason why I wanted to be in film industry from my childhood, it's not only for actors, but for directors, for producers, for everyone, because every film, it's like a different life, it's like a different journey. So the more films you do, the more lives you live, you know, kind of, if you're actor, it's a character, but anyways, director, producer, um, like every person of the crew becomes part of it. Yeah, and when you travel, like I would never ever uh, got a chance to live in Himalayas, you know, unless it's the dead end, or with Jal in the desert. Like when we shot Jal or in the desert in Run of Kutch, that was one of the most uh, toughest time of my life, but in the same time, it was so special, incredible, and life changing. So, unless it's a film, you would never go there. <laughs> go there just to have fun. Uh, that's really incredible, and I would never leave film industry, you know, because of this. Okay. And just talking some, something further about this, what's your dream role? You got something in mind that once upon a time in my life I want to play this kind of a character or, or a role in such and such kind of a film or movie? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm more uh, in love with very uh, dramatic roles and I would love to play a character who is uh, very dramatic, in love, with a lot of pain, but that it would be very intense and 
sad and like you know dramatic <laughs> you like crying in front of camera right? yeah maybe not exactly crying but like emotional stuff i really like films which make people cry which they make them feel you know in fact even in my movie at the uh, at the end we were really discussing climax for quite a long time because i wanted one climax i did tell wanted another climax i wanted it to be very dramatic he thought it's like too much so eventually we came to the point where everyone was happy but like uh, i'm a very dramatic person so i would love to play someone who is very much hurt in love that somehow okay, and then make the audience participate and then share the same feelings that you are yeah, feeling yeah yeah absolutely like let's say just our example like our titanic or anna karenina it's like such kind of roles uh, which i think are like more connecting to me okay yeah. and how about zach you worked with him like um what's your experience yeah. Uh, it was really great. I was really honored that the Cherry Coffin agreed to become part of our film because he did so many films in Hollywood and in Bollywood as well. And when uh, I got the chance to talk to him about the movie, it was like two days before the shoot. And um, plus it's a festival film, you know, we didn't have that budget he's normally working with. So uh, I call him, I met him up, he really liked the script and uh, he really was so excited to be part of this movie because, yeah, you know, it's, it's not a commercial film, it has a specific audience and not many people make such kind of cinema. So he was really excited and he uh, agreed and he was so cooperative. So for all our viewers, your fans and my friends, mm -hmm. do you want to try and speak like a few lines in Hindi, mm -hmm. please? So I guess why for my fans and your friends, that's for our friends. <laughs> okay, let, 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 let it be what I uh, in, in Hindi, okay, but what you want me to say? Talk to me anything, ask me any question. Uh, kaise hai? You're asking my age, right? No, aap She's kaise asking hai? my age, right? No, I'm asking how are you? Oh, is it? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm fine. Next question, please. Last question. <laughs> you can ask me anything weird, funny. That's okay. <laughs> no, that question in India, everybody asks, but they ask it in Hindi. No, in English, sorry. In India, you know, every person you meet, uh, even for work, uh, before any topic starts, everybody asks you, like, are you married? <laughs> for everyone, not, not only for me, not because I'm a foreigner, right? Even guys, everyone asks that, so that's uh, in English. Since you brought this point, let me ask you please, what are one or two most fascinating things about Indian culture that you discovered over this period of time? Yeah, about Indian culture, number one, uh, I think it's like pretty dramatic. And you know, the most interesting thing that a lot of uh, people abroad, they say that all Bollywood films, they're very like dramatic and it's like too much drama in it. But the <laughs> real point in life in India, there are much way more drama of it. Because whatever you see in movies, it's like 30% of we actually go through on this. On this 30%? Time. You calculated it? So it's so precise, huh? No, like, you know, in life, like whatever movies I was part of in Bollywood, it was always so much drama. And uh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I, I love all this dramatic. It's very exciting, very happening. So, you know, it, like you never know what's going to happen. So that's one number one point in Indian culture. And uh, I'm seeing it in a positive way because I, I think it's uh, interesting. And that's what keeps life going and makes it exciting. And number two, I think... Mm, India is a very friendly kind of country mm -hmm. and especially whenever you go somewhere as a guest people really really treat you in an incredible way I think it's like everything for the guest you will sit in the best place you'll get the best food so that's a really you know a good point in the culture plus of course food the culture of food in India is massive and it's uh, <laughs> I think people worship food and uh, there is a huge variety of it. Okay. Can you name like one or two of your favorite? Yeah, no, my favorite is uh, Rajasthani Indian food. I love Bajra Roti. I know it sounds funny. Say again, please. Bajra Roti. 
bachra roti. Okay. Normally people so laugh when I say I like bachra roti. It's good to make so people laugh, right? <laughs> okay. In second, second yeah, period. Yeah, because it's more healthier. I don't eat none and all that stuff. It's very fattening and it's uh, not good for your health. So she's warning. She's warning you. Please follow her advice. Uh, and of course, all vegetarian, like different veg. Um, gravies, I like them as well. But no, I no. Sorry, my favorite would be tandoori things. Yeah, tandoori. yeah, all different like vegetarian tandoori kebabs. They would be uh, the most uh, healthier than anything else. And uh, the most tastiest one it's uh, paneer mahani with black dal with lots of butter in it. It's very tasty. Lots of butter, huh? Okay. Yeah, no, it's very tasty, but of course then no food for next three days. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. the reason, that's the reason you can see she, that why she's so fat, you know? Yeah. No, I, I don't, like, I love Indian food. I don't really eat it because of their <laughs> calories, but I can cook it as well. I know Indian cuisine very well. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, I'll give you three names. You choose one, okay? Al Pacino, James Dean, Brando. Al Pacino. Godfather. Is it? Yeah. Godfather is Brando in it too. Uh, Why Al Pacino? No, still, I think Al Pacino is more handsome, especially when he was uh, much younger. Yeah, he, lo he looks good. So you don't like him now? Uh, no, he looks good too. Now, now, I have other actors whom I like more, but among um, those three you named, mm -hmm. he is the best. Okay. And lastly, uh, you want to tell us something about your like future or upcoming projects? Um, you know, I believe uh, in talking about those projects which are about to come out soon, so which is the, the, the end. Uh, for me right now, I have your project uh, in the pipeline, but let's keep it um, till their moment, you know, people are ready to see them because I'm not the producer in them. One last question. Um, do you like improvisation? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, a quick 30 second improvisation, you and me? Start. Okay, no, so you can start with any damn line and any damn given situation and any relation between you and me. And let's see what happens. Just 20, 30 seconds, just for fun, if you wanna. Okay. So you go ahead. No, you start like, <laughs> I'm quite confused. Okay. How, okay, how, what's the, how many times have I told you, you should not talk to those girls, they are so mean, don't you understand? But I didn't talk to them. I have a proof on my phone, you lying to me? Show me, no you're lying to so you me. You don't believe me, no, I will show you. I don't you. believe you, because you always make up some stories, like yes. I caught you so many times on lying. What? Yeah, so that's why I don't believe you. So you're just taking a revenge, like a sweet revenge or something? No, it's not a sweet revenge. It's just a... You know, it's just a proper revenge with a smile. You know every time I want to break up with you, but then your this smile, I can't. The break up? Oh. Yeah. Looking at your smile, I just take... Okay, I don't want to break up. Come on, like we were, you can't break up with me. We were just friends. Don't you All know? this time you were... Are you listening? All this time you were friends? Are you serious? Yeah. I thought we were going to get married. Stop. And just going to watch movies with me doesn't make you to be my boyfriend. He was just a friend. Don't you know how Indian guys are? They get emotional so quick. I know. So that's why I wanted to make it clear so we don't get. Well, now you're making it clear. <laughs> when I'm asking you, now you're making it clear, huh? He's too dramatic, no? Same to you. Take it easy, Same to huh? you. Same take to you. Oh, you want me to take it easy, huh? You want me yeah, to take it easy? I watch movies with so many guys and girls. It doesn't mean anything. Okay, how about this? I take it easy. We go, f oh, we go there to the, we go there to the cafe. But, but we drink a coffee and then we never meet. How about that? But what was your problem that I was talking to the girls, which you took the video? They are not straight. Are you? I don't want. Her. Yeah, they are not straight girls. girls. Please, they are not straight. That's okay. They like you. Experiment. They like you in a different way. Please. That's okay. We can experiment. Okay, okay. You like that? You like that? I think I won. No, no. Let, let people decide. They would, they would put in the comments below. Well. Please, please vote for me. Please vote for me. Okay, so friends, this was Jewel with us. And please keep watching our YouTube channel, Bollywood Tidbits, for more interesting videos. Thank you.